watching WXII 12 News. Right now at 5 o'clock, the North Carolina State Highway Patrol was in the midst of a trooper shortage. It's impacting not just the triad, but the entire state. Joshua Davis spoke to troopers about their efforts to drive up recruitment. At this point, hundreds of positions have been left vacant, leaving troopers to figure out new ways to fill up those positions as quickly as possible. This profession is, is really needed in the state of North Carolina. Master Trooper John Bachelon, a recruiter for the North Carolina Highway Patrol, has been with the agency since March of 2016. He was inspired to become a trooper because of his best friend's dad. It's the kind of story he's been hearing less and less of as the agency grapples with a trooper shortage of roughly 270 positions. Or we have 100 counties in this state, um, and a lot of them are rural, so your local uh, departments um, don't have the manpower uh, that we that they need. His colleague Sergeant J.D. Kitchens says it's causing troopers in specialized units to be put back onto patrol to fill in the gaps. And one of the big reasons for the shortage is what he calls a retirement bubble. And there's always been a, a huge influx of, you know, guys maybe they might retire all at once in one month or, you know, they might just trickle out. They might be a span out throughout the years. One approach the agency is taking is starting the path to become a trooper in one of the 66 community colleges across North Carolina. Upon uh, completion of the BLAT, you will start an arbitral school in Raleigh, which is called a short school, and that ranges anywhere from 14 to 16 weeks, just depends on the curriculum. Bachelon says they're working to find other ways to inspire folks to pick up the badge. You're going to actually put, have to put some work into it, um, and, and when that time comes to get your badge, um, it, I promise you, it, it will be worth it. And both men add, while it's important the agency fills up those positions, it's also important that they don't sacrifice the standards of professionalism and quality that the agency is known for. In Moxville, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.